Hello guys, this is, uh, this is Detroit. Uh, today I'll be showing you video number 19. I plan to show you my UK collection of uh, the Royal Navy. The first uh, line of ships that I will show you are my Liberty class naval transports of the Royal Navy. These uh, units uh, came originally with the board game. All right. Uh, my next series of ships or miniatures are my submarines. Uh, these came with the original board game, which were pretty much standard for all the countries uh, that are represented in the game. Okay. Okay, my next subs or submarines are my Ray class submarines, which were, I believe, were originally uh, from the U.S. Uh, collection. All right, the next uh, U.K. submarines are the truculent class submarines who came with uh, the latest uh, board game Axis and, uh, Axis and Allies board game alrighty okay let's go to my destroyers here we have the Johnston class destroyers which were part of the US collection but that were for some reason uh, included with the UK collection let me see if I can bring one of these up Okay, the ones in the background are um, Salmarez, let me see if I get this right, Salmarez class destroyers of the UK Navy or HMS Navy. Okay, these are... These came out in the latest version of the uh, Axis and Allies uh, 1940 edition of the game. Okay, now let's go to uh, the cruisers. These belong to the Kent class cruisers of the Royal Navy. On these uh, particular type of ships, I've attached a decal designating uh, these ships as British. All right, let's go to uh, my battleships. Um. These belong to the uh, Royal Oak class, I believe, uh, battleships of the Royal Navy. Um, I've even uh, included uh, the name of, of the ship, which are which is the Revenge, the HMS Revenge. Um, I have a second one here in the background also, which I've uh, also the same class of warship. And this is the Royal Oak. I thought it'd be real neat to just uh, designate or, or give a ship uh, uh, a name. This way, I guess it uh, further adds some realism or some more fun to the game. Okay, now these uh, in the background are the same type of ships. Just that depending on what 
version of the game you have, uh, the miniatures tend to change a little bit in size. So if you see and you compare, these are both the same type of class of warships, but depending on which game version you have, they tend to be slightly smaller or slightly larger, as you can see here. You have the Royal Oak. It's much thicker and wider than this Royal Oak. Okay. So over here. This is the revenge. Okay. Um, next, let's swing all the way to the right. Let me show you uh, these battleships. I believe these are, mis what is it, Iowa class battleships that were originally in the game, which I've uh, designated as being British, but. Uh, this is actually originally uh, Iowa class battleships. All right, in the background, uh, you can see my carriers, which I've uh, incorporated or painted them slightly different uh, one from the next. Let me see if I can uh, bring up one at a time. This is the illustrious HMS illustrious. Okay. All right, in the background you have aircraft carriers that are originally from uh, the original board game of Axis and Allies. All right, let me zoom out a little bit this way you can see the entirety of uh, my Royal Navy collection. Okay, guys. Uh, this is the end of video number 19, uh, which was the first uh, video of uh, my UK collection. Uh, the next video is going to be video number 20, which I'll start showing you my uh, armor collection for uh, the UK. As a matter of fact, I have some of them already here, which I have yet to uh, either finish painting or or to finalize in detail. Okay, but these here are some of my uh, ground army units for my UK collection. But that uh, that that particular collection I'll show you uh, in video number 20, uh, which will be uh, sometime soon. Uh, guys, uh, once again, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any commentaries, uh, I look forward to them. Uh, until next time, thanks.